Hi all, in this video we are going to discuss dual access chart. So Tableau provides us a feature uh, using which we can uh, plot a chart with two measures simultaneously. So over here if you'll see uh, we have created a chart uh, showing the sum of sales and profit ratio uh, for the category of products across years. So over here uh, this left scale is showing me sales whereas this right scale is showing me profit ratio. So on a single graph, I see both the measures sales and profit ratio simultaneously and each one has a separate axis. Such kinds of charts are known as dual axis charts. These charts are very useful in case the uh, you want to show the end uh, user, the uh, C-level executive or your clients that how are the data points differing at various continuous variables or at various measures. So if we go just by definition, dual axes are two independent axes as I told over here like one is sales and one is profit and they are independent of each other. Then our dual axis allows us to compare multiple measures. Here we are comparing sales with profit ratio and they are useful when uh, we have two measures that have different scales yeah because if they will be of same scale then uh, no need of having two axis one axis would be enough but over here since the two scales are quite different and we have been able to merge them together that's why uh, we use dual axis dual axis gives us that flexibility so basically for creating dual axis there are two methods either we'll uh, drag and drop the fields over here until a black dot line comes or uh, within the this second field uh, drop down i'll get an option to select dual axis so from that also i can create a dual axis chart so without much ado let's go to our tableau workbook to see how to create dual axis chart so over here you will see that i have created a dual axis chart uh, which represents the uh, sales and profit of uh, states across the regions. So uh, if I over here, if you will see that for each state, I get uh, two dots. So the blue represents the profit and the uh, orange represents the sales. So over here, you will see that the uh, scale of profit ranges from that something minus like around minus 50k to 200 and, uh, and over here uh, in case of sales uh, if you will see uh, the scale is again raising from minus 50k to something around 500k uh, now over here you will see in case of sales all the values are quite above this 0k means almost uh, all the sales are at least positive but in case of profit if you will see uh, there are some values which are negative over here. So had there been only uh, one scale, uh, like either it had been only sales, had there been only profit, then uh, the scale would have been registered based on one, um, one measure only. But since over here, uh, there are two uh, measures which have got different scales, profits range from negative value to plus value, whereas sales are always uh, greater than equal to zero. So uh, both of these axes are quite different from each other, but still they have been plotted together uh, to show the uh, sales and profit generated by each state within each region. So uh, now we will see how to create such a dual access chart. So first le uh, let me clear this visualization over here. Now first of all we will see that corresponding to a particular say category over here. What is the sale? Now over here we will see that what is the profit. You can say I have got these two different charts. One is showing me the sales, one is showing me the profit because these two have appeared upside down because the scale of both the measures is different. Now if I want them both to be on the same scale, I would like the profit scale to be on the right hand side and sales to be on the left hand side. So for that what I will do, over here in the drop down of profit I get an optional dual axis. Now one thing to remember is uh, in if you will see these two uh, pills, in uh, the drop down of the uh, sum of sales you don't get an option to add a dual axis but uh, in this field sum of profit you get an access to you get an option to add dual axis the reason is the second pill uh, that is the second uh, major pill which is added over here that only gets the option to add a dual axis so i am the moment i do it dual axis so uh, the profit scale has moved on the right hand side and now both uh, 
sales and profit are being represented on this single graph the sales are represented by orange color and the profits are represented by bluish color now if i would like to uh, bifurcate it further so in place of uh, category let me place sub category now you will see uh, that for furniture almost uh, you will see that there are uh, sub categories which are generating uh, losses for me these are negative profits means these are losses for me and some uh, over here in uh, office supplies and technology uh, my profits are almost always positive and similarly with the yellow dots of sales uh, i'll see that the highest number of sales are coming from the furniture and technology category uh, but at the same time the uh, minimum profit or the losses are coming from the furniture category a lot so in this way i have plotted both the sales and profit together on a single graph and uh, this was using the option available in this second pill uh, this is the dual axis now uh, let me remove this uh, chart and let me create it using the another option which i have so again uh, i'll place the category over here i'll place the sub category over here then i'll get my sales over here now one method was uh, for in the previous graph i had just dragged and drop profit over here and from the profit drop down i selected the dual axis option another method is i would uh, drag and drop profit on the visualization directly uh, when i see this dotted line you can see this black dotted line guys just on the rightmost side of the technology category uh, you will find this black dotted line so the moment you find this black dotted line just drop your uh, measure over here so i'll drop my measure over here so you will see that profit has by default uh, being combined with the sales and a dual axis chart has been created so this is how you create dual axis charts and they are quite useful when you want to uh, display multiple uh, features or multiple measures on the single graph that's all for this video let's meet in the next video